Hey, in today's video, I want to talk about why the circle of fifths is BS. I'll see you inside the video. Hey guys, it's James here from eBay's Guitar and a couple of weeks back we released a lesson called One Killer Drill for Bass Players of All Levels. Now this was an exercise based on a very well-known concept called the Circle of Fists, which we often get a bunch of questions about. Now this title in itself is super confusing, almost BS, but I want to explain to you why it actually works and also what the better title for this concept called the Circle of Fists should be. Now I also want you to check out a lesson that we did a few years ago called I Will Survive the Circle of Fifths. We'll link to both of these lessons in the YouTube description below. But what I'm going to cover today is further explanation, further depth of where this term the circle of fifths comes from and then I'm going to show you how it works in action again using that awesome chord sequence from I Will Survive. Just before we get going I want you to know there's a completely free PDF which comes with this lesson which will give you a ton of further information on how the circle of fifths works. You can grab your free copy by clicking the link which is in the description below. Also, I've got a quick favor to ask. If you are a regular viewer of the eBay's Guitar YouTube channel or just simply love the content that we're putting out, please can you hit the red subscribe button which is somewhere around this video. What this means for us is it will help us grow the reach of the channel. What it means for you guys is it will enable us to put out more great free bass educational content to help you guys push your bass guitar playing forward. So please hit the red subscribe button somewhere around this video. It would absolutely mean the world to me. So here's the thing that causes a ton of confusion when it comes to the circle of fists. So many students ask me, James, you're talking about the circle of fists, but why are you actually going up in force? Isn't this a cycle of force? And yes, in a manner of speaking, you are quite right. And students, when they ask that question, it's a really, really valid thing to ask. And the fact is that the term, the circle of fists, is really, really super confusing. And I wish it wouldn't get used. Here's the thing, the circle of fists as a term is here to stay and professional and experienced musicians across the globe will use it. So it's important for you to know what it means. But also it's important for you to understand where the term comes from. And that's what I want to demystify right now. So what I want to give you now is one crucial piece of understanding. So you can see why the term circle of fifths and cycle of force are interchangeable. So I'm going to start off with the first two degrees of the circle of fifths. So we're going to go C and then we're going to go to an F like so. Now I'm going to play this on the bass guitar, C and then F. And you quite naturally go one, two, three, four. And so it looks like we're going up a fourth. But when you write out the circle of fifths just with letter name, there are no chord qualities on there. And what I mean by that is there are no minors, there are no sevenths, there are no diminisheds. But once you start putting those in, you can start looking at the chords slightly differently. So to show you this in action, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this into a C7. And suddenly when you look at that from the perspective of C7 going to F, it looks like the chord of five going to chord one. So a dominant chord to chord one. So it is resolving here to the F. So let me think of it, let's think of it from this perspective. So we're gonna play the C and then we're gonna resolve down to the F like so. So that gives us our five one. So in fact, when you go from C to an F, it's a fifth if you go down. Now here's the crucial thing to understand in music. Going up a fourth and going down a fifth is exactly the same thing. Let me repeat that. Going up a fourth is exactly the same as going down a fifth. So if you think of going around the clock, the circle of fifths as the notes all descending rather than ascending, the term the circle of fifths will make sense. So let's write out the rest of the circle of fifths or the cycle of fourths, depending how you look at it, using this new lens and new piece of thinking. So we've got C to F. Then if we go down from F down a fifth or up a fourth, we get a B flat. 
and then up a fourth or down a fifth from B flat, we get E flat. So we now get this chord sequence or this in sequence of notes, C, F, B flat, E flat, like so. Then let's continue on. So going up a fourth or down a fifth, we go to A flat. Then to carry on, we go to D flat. Then we go to G flat. This is all written out in the PDF that comes with the lesson. Then we go to B, E, A, D, G, and then we're back around the top. And this gives us our full cycle or circle of 12 notes. Now, the other thing that can make the circle of fifths a minefield, and I only found this out a few weeks ago from Jazz, who's one of our VIP coaches over at eBay's Guitar, who has a strong classical music theory background, is classical musicians use the term circle of fifths ascending. Now, the cool thing is you can actually get the circle of fifths ascending if you go back round the clock anti-clockwise. So you can go from C, like so, up a fifth to G, and then that up a fifth from G, you'll end up on a D, and then up a fifth from a D, you'll end up on an A, etc, etc. So they will use that term circle of fifths ascending. But for the purposes of jazz, rock, and pop music, the circle of fifths is always descending going down. In reality, it looks more like a cycle of force, particularly when you put it on the box nature of the bass guitar. Now, the important thing is to look at this in the real world and as a bass player. So I've written out the I Will Survive chord sequence right here. It's an eight bar chord sequence. So first of all, I want to play it to you so you can internalize the sound of it. So hundreds and hundreds of songs, particularly jazz standards, but through to pop tunes, use the circle of fifths in their songs. So it's a common chord sequence that you should really, really know the sound of, which is why I played it first. But let's talk about how this falls on the instrument, because this is the important thing. Now, I don't think I've ever seen a song out there which goes all the way around the circle of fifths in order. What tends to happen is they will use sections of the circle of fifths and the I Will Survive chord sequence is, does exactly that. So what happens here is we start with the A and that's the A there. Then we go to the D, which is the D there. And then we've got the G7 there. And then that goes to a C there. Let me take away that seventh chord. But there you can clearly see G7 to C7 there. That's part of the chord sequence. Sorry, G7 to C major 7 there, if you were to add the chordal qualities on the end of it. Then we go to the F major 7. So we go five steps round the clock, like so, from there to there. Then we jump to the last two chords there, which are the B minor and the E there. So the B minor 7 flat 5 and the E. And then you might notice that it goes back to the A to restart again there. So we start. At so we use that purport, that section of the clock, and that's what gives us our chord sequence. And this is why I Will Survive is based upon the circle of fifths, because clearly you can see the five one chord movement there, G7 to C major seven there. And that's running all the way through these chord changes with the exception of there, where it changes to a different part of the clock, like so. So how does this fall on the bass guitar? Well, if you go from an A, you can start at the fifth fret there, then you go to the D there. And so you can see us ascending fourths like so, and then to the G there. And notice if you go from the D to the G there, that's actually the fifth shape that I was talking about there. So you can very clearly see how it changes when you look at it from going up a fourth or down a fifth, and then from the G to the C like so, and then to the F there. 
And what you can see is you're starting to build up this wonderful box shape movement on the neck there, which falls really nicely under the hands. Now, this is part of the reason why so many bass players get confused with this, because the instrument is tuned in fourths. So it just looks like we're going up fourths all the time. But I urge you to take this piece of crucial understanding and really internalize it and see why the circle of fifths makes sense. Now to wrap up this lesson, I'm gonna have a groove through the chord sequence and play over it so you can see how well it falls under the hand and you can hear some of the lines that I would naturally play over it. But at the beginning of the lesson, I said, why is the circle of fifths BS? Now, I use that kind of lightheartedly, but to a certain extent, I wouldn't be making this lesson if it wasn't such a confusing subject. And historically, it hadn't been called the circle of fifths for years, and musicians didn't just use that term liberally to describe it. From the perspective of us bass players and learning the instrument, learning music, I do actually believe it would be much simpler if we simply called it a cycle of fourths. But anyway, you've got the understanding of how this works. Download the free PDF, which comes with this lesson, which will explain how the clock works more. Now, I'm gonna leave you with a bit of a jam over this chord sequence. Do experiment over it, have some fun, and I will see you next time. So that's the end of today's lesson. I really hope that's cleared a few things up about the circle of fists and how it works. If you want to understand music theory right from the ground upwards, I urge you to head on over to ebassguitar.com and check out the Bass Lab Plus. The reason for that is there is a full step-by-step -step music theory course for the bass guitar player in our membership program there. You can check it out completely free as well by clicking the link in the description below. Cheers, I've been James from ebassguitar.com. I'll catch you next week.